Hi, uh, this is another segment of, uh, I'm Tony, and we're doing another segment today on how to be a kitchen alchemist so you can treat yourselves and fix your bodies and do all these things. So we're being filmed live in living color, so if there's any screw-ups, that's what it is. You see, what you see is what you get. So WYSIWYG. Okay, we're going to make a chelator. Some of you don't know what a chelator is. A chelator is something that goes into your body and will pull out toxins or metals or both or chemicals. And you can make your own chelator relatively easy. It doesn't take much. You can use anything that has sulfur or has uh, ascorbic acid. It itself is one of the simplest chelators going. What we're going to use today is we're going to use a glass, EDTA, MSM, vitamin C, baking soda. Okay. What we're going to add water. Distilled water, reverse osmosis water, or a really, really, really clean water, double distilled, whatever. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to put this together so that if you have any kind of exposure to arsenic, lead, mercury, aluminum, or other metals that you may have been exposed to as a result of working in the automotive industry or a manufacturing industry or something to that nature, or because you've got chemtrail exposure and you're getting a lot of barium and aluminum, this can help pull some of that out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take EDTA, okay, it's a white powder. You can order this by bulk at purebulk.com. <clears throat> Again, I don't endorse anybody, but if you've got something that works, I will let you know what I, what I, in my humble opinion, will, works and the products that I think are good. Anyway, you're going to take about a gram, a thousand milligrams. This is a guesstimate here, okay, just so you know. You don't have to be super precise. A little bit here, a little bit less, a little bit more isn't going to kill you. All right. Now, unless you're making a bomb, then 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 you know maybe's and oops, you know that can hurt you. But this isn't going to hurt you. All right. MSM powder. You're going to use approximately two grams. If you go more than two grams, do not sweat it. Okay. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay. The idea is MSM is a water soluble sulfur. You can take the whole thing, put it in there, and drink it. And the worst thing that happen to you is you'll be on the throne thinking deep, 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 deep thoughts. So don't sweat it. Okay? Your body will utilize what it needs and dumps the rest. We are using this because it is a sulfur based. Okay? And so approximately that's more like three grams. Okay, two grams. One, two. Okay. If I'm off a little bit, it's no big deal. And again, we're showing you everything living color so that you know that if you make a mistake or you think you put too much in there, don't throw it away, don't waste it, it's not going to hurt you. Now, vitamin C, another two grams. If you go up higher, you can take the vitamin C at a higher dose, by all means. Okay, so, I'm going to put that much. Okay, I'm using a little wee spoon. Now, if you want to be technical, weigh it out, measure it, do whatever. Okay, it's not necessary. Now, and add the magical ingredient, the stimulation of stimulation, water, clean water. Okay, two ounces, three ounces. All right, stir it up a little bit before you put the baking soda in. Now, okay, baking soda, you're going to use about a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon, not much. Whatever it takes to stimulate the agitation. We want this to bubble and, to, and boil and trouble and everything else. Because you want this to carry this into the system as quickly as possible. Okay? It's going to go down there. It's going to oxygenate the system. It's going to work with the vitamin C. Basically, you're making uh, um, uh, uh, potassium ascorbate. Or sorry, not potassium ascorbate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sodium ascorbate. Sodium ascorbate is a very potent uh, antioxidant that cleans the cells and kills cancer. Okay, just so you know. Now I'm just going to guesstimate this. Just going to put it in. Okay, see a bubble? I'm going to drink this. Soon the red S on my chest will appear. <laughs> All right. That's how harmless that is. Okay. If some of you are feeling a lot of pain and you do this, you may find a lot of relief very quickly. 
The baking soda in the MSM can have a very stimulating effect in regard to getting it in the system and reducing inflammation and shutting down the pain threshold in your body. The vitamin C and the MSM will work together in protecting the liver, protecting the lungs, okay, increasing the effect for a respiratory. For those of you who have allergies, this can help tremendously. Now you may burp. I feel one coming on, so if I do burp, it's not I'm being rude, it's just a gas coming out. This is already in my system. I can already feel it going through me. Now, <clears throat> some of you may have to do this for a couple days, but this is a simple chelator. Now, if you did this every night before going to bed, you may find the next day when you get up, you're hitting the washroom. Um, you may find that if you have a lot of yeast, you may find the yeast will start all of a sudden going. Some of you may start seeing metals coming out into the into your... Uh, into the washroom. So keep that in mind. You, some of you may find all of a sudden aches and pains in your body are starting to diminish. I uh, might feel more, a little bit more flexibility because of the vitamin C in it. Okay, This can boost the immune system. This can kill cancer cells. All right, You can put it together for pennies. You can do this every night before going to bed if you like.